pussy by now you heard of me I'm, I'm the one that keeps talking about in these streets Hit the strip club, all the ones being thrown on me What's in your tea? Ooh. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the hottest of them all? <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl dior ecstasy and i'm back like i never left a curt period and today's video is gonna be about do not be a stripper the truth okay so disclaimer if you guys have been like following my youtube channel you guys know i like do mainly is give you guys stripper advice i tell y'all what to do what not to do i give y'all the game i give y'all vlogs me actually in the club and i do all those things for y'all but i've never sat down and told y'all my actual story okay now this is gonna be a little emotional i don't know why i'm nervous to make this video I'm never nervous to make a video, ever. I rarely get nervous. <laughs> but, you guys, this is going to be a little bit more personal for me. <laughs> okay, see, everything else was just pure entertainment, but this is personal, and this is real life, and this is some of the stuff I've been through. So, yeah, I hope you guys can feel me, understand me, listen to me well when I speak, and... Just know that I'm not out here telling all of y'all to go be strippers. I have not once said that. I'm just giving advice to the girls that's already in the game. A lot of you girls would be like, oh, I want to become a stripper. And I'm 18. I just graduated. I'd be disappointed in y'all. I'm sorry. All the girls that just tell me that they just graduated high school and they want to be a stripper. I had one girl comment, oh, I'm 16 years old. I just got out of high school and I want to strip. It makes me feel bad, honestly, because I have a little sister that's 12. And if she came to me at 16 telling me, hey, right when I graduate, I want to go to college. And I want to um, dance as well. I'm going to be highly upset and disappointed so with that being said just know i'm not promoting stripping even though it comes off that way um that's why i'm also trying to let you guys know that i'm in school like if you guys look at some of my videos i say college edition or i'm speaking about something in college if you watch my videos called i'm leaving that's the video that I made before I went to college. So I want you guys to know that I am in college, which some of y'all already know. But I want y'all to just know I am trying to get my life together and have more hustles other than the strip club. That's my goal forever. Now, when I'm going to stop stripping, I don't know. <laughs> I can't even lie to you guys. But I'm going to tell y'all my story, and this is something... I just feel like sharing because the lifestyle is too glorified for me and I'm for to tell y'all my truth. So, so well, I guess I can start off by saying in 2016 is when I graduated high school in June and in August 2016, I decided to be a stripper, like straight out of high school. Um, I was 18, so I turned... 18 i turned 18 july 29th and august like probably august 1st or something i went straight to the club i played no games i went to a club called fantasy island in houston if you in houston you know that's an og club you know that's like three years ago um they actually had uniforms for you to wear so honestly to me it was like a sports bar with a stripper pole in it but they said it was a strip club anyway yeah, I couldn't wear my own outfits. I had to wear what they gave me. So that's how I started off. Um, I also started off with this girl I used to be really cool with. Me and her, you know, was just the best of friends. Right now, we're not on good terms right now. I wouldn't say we're not on good terms. We're just not speaking. So I'm going to just call her Ty. Whenever I speak on her, and if I say my best friend at the time, or if I say my best friend, period, I'm talking about Ty. Even though I haven't spoke to her in a while. 
I'm just not finna act like I wasn't her friend for years. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, so me and Ty, we went there and it was really, really not what I expected. Nobody knew I stripped down. I used to um, leave from my mom's house. I would say run away, but I'm 18, so it's not running away. So I would leave for like weeks, trying to get in strip clubs, trying to make money. That's it. I was influenced by a lot of people around me to strip because a lot of my friends, a lot of my guy friends was pimps. And a lot of my regular friends was strippers. Or I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Some of them was prostitutes. Okay. So that fast money, I seen it. And a lot of the people, like the dudes I was dating was drug dealers. Or, you know, they was like gang affiliated or some type of hoodness to them so it's like all i saw was fast money and who child not only that like my dad you know he's a he was a rapper i don't even want to say my dad's name on here because y'all gonna start trolling my father <laughs> but my father was a rapper he was signed to a big record label so Literally, all I know, you guys, is fast money. So this is how I fell into this job, okay? It didn't work out for me when I first started. So like I told y'all, I did it in August, but I took a long break to like prepare. I'm just telling you, like prepare my body, everything, my dance moves, my confidence. I prepared all the way to December. So December 2016 is when I officially, for real, was a stripper. It was lit. <laughs> Um, I went to a strip club. Like I said, it was a club called Explicit. I said that in my um, first night being a stripper video. That was my actual first night because I feel like the club I just told y'all about wasn't a legit strip club. First time I went to the strip club, I went with this girl, yeah. Jasmine. Like I said, I don't think she'll care. She yeah. popped ecstasy pills. And I was like, ecstasy pills i'm not finna take an ecstasy pill but i was so nervous you guys we had no liquor no marijuana all we had was an ecstasy pill and i was finna go show off my body so i'm like i'm finna take this <laughs> so i took half of it and after that i never stopped stripping now did i stop taking the ecstasy pills of course <laughs> Of course I did, but that's something I regret every day is taking that ecstasy pill. But that's neither here nor there because I made a lot of money. But, you know, a lot of people on YouTube is not going to tell y'all about the drug side and all the different drugs you can be introduced to. You know, nobody going to tell you, but Dior going to be the one to tell you. So listen to me. Listen to me well. So that's the first part of the truth why I say don't be a stripper is just the drugs, okay? Um, it got hard for me to go there sober. It was bad. Uh, I always needed something. As y'all know, I still drink. I love liquor. It's, it's what it is. So the next part to it, don't be a stripper, is family. My family judged me. My family, I think they was all on my social media. I'm stalking me because like I said, I was never at home. As soon as I did it, it's like I was all over the place. I was at this person's house, that person's house, my best friend's house. I was at everybody's house but my mom's house, literally. Sleeping at my, on my cousin couch, sleeping on my best friend's in her room. You know, I was just, it was just wild. I wasn't living right. But my family would judge me. Like, my dad, he just <sighs> called me so many different type of names in the book. Like, the level of disappointment, the messages he was sending on a daily made me scared to even go back home. But it's like, I didn't know what to do. Some nights, I would make a whole bunch of money to where, like, I'm good. You know, I'm stacking, I'm stacking. And some nights I would make nothing. And then to have your parents call you nothing and call you, 
you know, all the H words, all the B words, you know, all the cuss words. Y'all know I don't like to cuss on my YouTube. Not only them, I would have my aunties who would talk about my mom. Oh, her child is over here stripping. I'm glad my child won't do that. I hope my child don't grow up like that. And it's just like, oops. it was just overwhelming. I don't get talked about anymore because now a lot of my cousins are doing the same thing. They're trying to dance and stuff like that. So it's a little bit more accepted now in my family. But when I did in 2016, it wasn't. Because I was 18. Everybody started doing it when they was 20, 21. Nobody understood why I was doing it, why I was so on a hustle. But I just got that in me. I just got a hustle in me. So, yeah, the family part really broke my heart. People didn't want me to stay over their house. They, they was all like, oh, you over my house too much. I used to have people, I used to have girls pick me up because my mom took away my car. I would make a way. I used to beg people for rides, pay them $20, 40 to get to the club. Like, once you're sucked in this environment, you're sucked in. You're gonna have an urge to get the money. You're gonna be eager. And I promise that's how you're going to be when you first start off. The longer you do it, the more you're going to be used to it. But when you haven't touched that type of money, you haven't touched even $300. I remember one day I made $300 one night and I was extremely excited. Now $300 is not acceptable. So when you haven't touched that type of money and you do it, it's gonna be like a drug. You gonna you gonna want that money. You gonna want that fast money. You, you, you just gonna strive for it. So yeah, um, the family part was extremely disrespectful. I felt like I had no, nothing, nobody. And then I would, you know, have my car sometimes. You know, sometimes my mom would, you know, let me have my car. It would be nights where it's a shame to go home. So I would sleep in my car. And I just lay the seat back, like recline the seat, and go to sleep. And my front. cousin with me, I only took her one time with me to go dance, and we couldn't come back home. I remember I heard my mom saying, don't come back to this house. Like, she was ashamed. Man. You know, I, I can't blame her, but she was ashamed. So she said, don't come back to this house, and we had to sleep in my car in front of CVS. It's been many days I had to sleep in my car many days and it's kind of like i brung it on myself but it then at the same time it's like nobody's giving me money jobs are not calling you know and even if jobs were jobs is not paying what the club is paying you know it's drugs family number three you will lose a lot of time your life will go by so fast in the strip club I was just 18 and now look up, I'm 21. Now finally going to college. I feel like if I would've just went to college at first at 18 and did it on the side, but stayed in college, I would've never been so invested. I would've never been so determined to go. That would not have been my main focus. It would never have drained me so much the way that it did. Cause now I don't go every day. No. <laughs> I couldn't go seven days of, of the week. It'll drain me. Like, it'll literally drain me. And that's why I have different hustles. Because I don't want to be drained by it. It'll suck the life out of you. Getting drunk every night. Drinking an energy drink every night. Because that's what I do now. Or hookah. It drains you. You know? Now I just go on a popping days. Okay? Because I know how to get my money. I know how to handle it. And I know how to save it and invest. But... Back then, it was every day. Sometimes I would do doubles. I was so eager, like, cause that's all I had going on. I'm like, I'm touching so much money. That's, 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 what is school? And, you know, it got to the point I started living with this guy. If y'all go watch my video, Living With A Trick Story, that's what I'm talking about. I started living with this guy and I was doing what I was doing. Just get into it. Get into it. If you're not already in it, don't do it to be cool. I had got so known in Houston for dancing. Like, people would take videos of me in the club and send it to my dad. And I would never know who the dude was. 
I be like, it's really, really embarrassing. It can take a toll on your family. And it just is what it is. You just got to have a mind that I don't care what nobody thinks because I best believe somebody's going to judge you. And it just is what it is. I'm not the type of person that care about judgment. When it comes to the two people that created me, my mom and my dad, it's like, I got a higher level of respect now. I do care what they say. It was a really messed up situation for me. Uh, this lifestyle is bad. And y'all wonder why some people have been stripping. It feels like they've been a stripper all their life or for a long time. Because once you're in it, you're stuck in it. You see how much money you make, you're stuck. There is no leaving. How you gonna leave? You gonna get a regular job, making 1200 every two weeks when you could be making 3000 every two weeks. Or you can put both of that together, work the regular job in a strip and be making 4200 it's like you're stuck. You always gonna rely on it to be a side hustle, and sometimes I wish I would never did it, cause I would have never been so eager. And I feel like sometimes I'm a little money hungry. My expectations are higher. I'm a little bit more bougier, you know, cause I'm used to having a certain amount of money. If I don't have it, I feel like, whoa, what is going on? I encourage people to just go to school. Get you a trade if you don't like school, because I don't like school, honey. I'm trying to be a pharmacy technician. Y'all pray for me. <laughs> um, Get you a trade. Go to school. Be whatever you want to be. Other than yeah. that, I want to have a lot of money. And I am not going to rely on this when I'm 30 years old. I'm just not. So... That's why I'm up in school, because by the time I'm 25, best believe your girl will have some sort of degree. Did you hear me? By the time I'm 25, best believe your girl will have some type of degree. Either if I don't have one, best believe I'm going to have two. Because I'm going hard on a hoe. <laughs> Another thing, dudes only want to use you for money, and dudes see how much money you get. They see what you got going on on Instagram. They see you buying designer. It's like none of your relationships are real anymore. None of my relationships feel real to this day, you guys. I can't make this up. Uh, like I said, sometimes I really wish I was just like a normal, normal girl. Normal job. Stripping affected the way I dress. You know, I just be feeling like I have to be flashy all the time. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I just wish I could just simmer down and don't be so out there. In the same breath, that's like my personality. My personality is out there. You guys know me, Dior gang. I'm out there. <laughs> but as far as my relationships, I don't feel that a lot of the relationships I have with men are genuine. There was only one relationship I had that I felt was genuine. He felt a real genuine connection with anyone other than that person while being a strip feel like dudes they just want to use me they want to use me for my money they want to see what i got and what i can do to help them and at the end of the day i'm tired of it i was 18 dudes was begging me to take care of them like you know it's ridiculous to constantly constantly be forced or not even forced by men but having men feel like you make a whole lot of more money than me so you should be able to take care of me and i'm supposed to supply you with your sexual needs and you better not talk to nobody else but take care of me and love me that's the energy dudes be giving me yeah so i'm not the type of girl that dudes only want to just smash even though don't get me wrong, they do. But a lot of their main focus is to see what they can get out of me. Not gonna lie, I done had a lot of dudes come at me, a lot of popping dudes. I'm talking famous dudes. But like I said, the, they are still regular people. They do the same thing that everybody else do. They want the same thing everybody else want. And it's ridiculous. Um, One good thing that I can say though, I have networked like crazy. My career skyrocketed from being a dancer. Um, I put myself out there from being a dancer, from YouTube, from 
music to celebrities music videos i work with artists such as young lyric black youngster i've been in their music videos i've seen celebrities such as jania blueface lil boosty i've talked to celebrities in the dms you know i gotta keep the dms controversial you know gotta keep it low-key but i've made a lot of connections but it also has been hard and update i don't go through none of this stuff now that i just told you guys about i'll be low-key i'm better i'm healthier i'm eating better um i don't have none of them issues no more strictly work in a strip club but i just want y'all to know when you first hop in the game it's gonna be it's gonna be a hell of a ride and that's all I have to say. And only the strong survive. Because I done seen girls try to dance for a week and they was done with it. But that's how I know I'm a strong person. Because I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about men in the game. A dude could never run game on me. And that's another, another good thing about the strip. A dude could never run game on me. I run game on dudes. Pure game. So... Just take all that into consideration and just know that you will change. That money is going to change you. So be prepared. I advise you to be up in your own house, your own, have your own car, have your own stuff before you decide to do this. Because if you live in somebody else's roof, you're getting talked about or even kicked out if you ain't giving them a whole bunch of money. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the truth on why I think you should just go to school and don't do this to be cool, okay? I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more lit videos from me, girl Dior. <laughs> and it's lit. Love y'all. Bye. Oh. Comment below if you like my blue hair, by the way. Dior gang. <laughs> and we're gonna let it.